The U.S. has imposed economic sanctions on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, and Taiwanese chipmaker TSMC and South Korea Samsung have followed suit, suspending the export of their semiconductors to Russia. An article in the Wall Street Journal says without TSMC's high-end chips, Russia's efforts at developing advanced weaponry, along with 5G and AI, will be thwarted, as it'll be very hard to find other supply channels. Russia, as the world's second largest arms exporter, will lose an important source of income if its weaponry can't be produced smoothly. Let's hear from a local expert. <laughs> 包含了就是, the main products Russia uses include core computing processes for military use, microprocessors, and more importantly, memory. There will be a certain degree of impact on the military industry and even electronics industries relating to people's livelihoods. When the war ends, everything will bring the world back to so called normality. Russia will hope it will be able to export their things, and the big semiconductor companies in the West will still hope to continue doing business with Russia. So trade retaliation from both sides is harmful to both of them. In 2020, Taiwan's chip exports to Russia amounted to approximately 210 million U.S. dollars. Even though Russia may turn to Chinese chip makers for help, there aren't many like TSMC that can produce large volumes of high-end chips. The analyst also says that Russia is a major exporter of inert gases and precious metals, and it's unlikely that it won't do business with other nations. In addition, post-war reconstruction will see Russia in urgent need of TSMC's chips. The economic and trade cooperation between the two sides is unlikely to change in the long term, the analyst says.